When looking at how to make profit on a property, these are the couple of things that I look into. First, we wanna see what the house is gonna resell for. It's kind of the most important step because you work backwards from there. And then from there, sort of ask the agent what the price feedback has been or what the vendor's expectations are on their sale price. And that will give us sort of an estimated spread. So maybe it's $200,000 difference. From there, we will then put in all the renovation costs and we will put in our profit. All the costs, it starts bringing you back to your buy price. We like to calculate certain margins or minimum profits per project. If it's a bigger project, obviously we want a bit of bigger profit. If it's a smaller, quick project, you know, we can do smaller profit. But then, yeah, it works all the way back and it sort of gives us our max buy price. And then from there, it's all just a negotiating game. If you're going to auction, obviously you've got your max buy price. You don't want to go above that because it's going to start eating into your profit or you're going to have to compromise somewhere else and you might not get that end sale price. So you can negotiate with the buyer. We don't always put in our max offer. Uh, we don't say, here, this is what we're going to offer the property. Uh, you always want to offer just a little bit less. It gives a bit of negotiating room. I actually sometimes put in two different offers. We do one that has less money but a quicker settlement. We do another one that has more money but a long settlement with early access if the property is vacant so that we can get in there, renovate it all up and sell it before we even have to settle it. It's called a contemporaneous deal. It's a good thing.